Firmware 1.40 just came out for the Ricoh Theta on December 20th. Prior to using the mobile app to upgrade the firmware, I'm going to upgrade the mobile app itself to version 2.70 on Android. The Theta app was also updated on December 20th for both iOS and Android. With the mobile app updated, I'm next going to attempt to connect the Samsung Galaxy A8 tab that I'm using to the Ricoh Theta. I sometimes have this problem where there's a, a spinning blue icon here and it actually doesn't establish connection over Bluetooth. So I'm going to go into the settings of the Android tablet and connect the the tablet to the camera as a hotspot using the Wi-Fi configuration on the tablet itself. Currently the tablet is connected to my office network because I connected it to the internet to get the, the mobile app uh, to download it. In the Wi-Fi configuration settings of the tablet, I'm selecting the Ricoh Theta as the hotspot. The default password of the camera is the numerical digits of the serial number. Now that the camera is connected to the tablet, I'm going to check to see if the firmware needs to be updated. So in the lower right hand corner, the gear icon has a red dot on it. It indicates that there's some type of notification. And if I check the firmware, it says that the firmware can be updated. So I'm going to first I need to connect the tablet back to the office network to establish internet connection. After I establish internet connection between the tablet and the internet, then I'm going to download the firmware. So the firmware is being transferred over to the tablet. Then I have to reconnect the tablet back to the camera to transfer it over. Fortunately, the process to connect the tablet back to the camera is more straightforward the, the second time around, at least in my testing. So it, there's a menu to say that I need to connect back to the camera, and then it shows me the screen again, but now if I press the blue button to connect to the camera, the connection between the tablet and the camera is established. And then I have a, another dialog box that says, do you want to connect? I say yes, and I can transfer the firmware from the Samsung Galaxy A8 Android tablet to the camera. You can see on the camera screen of the, the LCD panel here that there's a status bar. And this did go on for several minutes. The process did take several minutes. And during this time, I do have the camera plugged into a wall outlet. It's actually kind of like a MacBook charger for USB-C. The blue status bar was moving fairly slowly, but eventually it completes and the camera then starts to reboot. So when you're seeing this white theta icon, that's a state the camera is rebooting. Eventually it reboots and it says firmware 1.40. So we have some new firmware here on the camera. On this site here, opkey.github.io slash theta x underscore dev, I'm keeping a, a list of some of the known issues with the current firmware, which previously was 1.30. And so the first one is a static IP assignment not working in client mode. So I'll have to test this. The other known issues are the camera.list files details requires the start position and the fingerprint ID not changing on battery state, battery level, or take picture. So these two tests, it's going to take me a bit of time. Uh, I think I'll quickly test this one and see whether um, it's any different. Using the API documentation, I'm first going to test to see um, OSC info. This is a get, not a post. And when I run it, I can see that I'm running firmware 1.40.0. Also quickly test the state of the camera here.
the limitation prior was that although you could get the details, you had to specify the start position. So for example, getting a single image here, you would have to specify the start position. The documentation did list this as optional. So we'll first check the behavior with the start position. Then I'm going to delete the start position and try to send it again. And it's looking like it worked. So Rico got rid of their site for the developer connection, but the, all the information is available on GitHub. To find it, I'm going to theta360.guide slash app. I'm going to go to the docs. I'm going to go to the API v2.1 right here. And then I have the listing of the API commands. So let's check out camera.list files. Right there. Okay. Start position is optional. Entry count is required. This limitation was initially reported by Jesse Armand and the description is here on the site. There was a workaround here which he's posting. It, the workaround was to specify the, uh, the start position. So previously, without the start position, the all the files on the camera would be shown, uh, which was it's, it was different than other cameras, right? So although there was a workaround, you probably want your code to be all the same for across all the cameras. So this issue appears to have been resolved. So the camera dot list files issue uh, appears to have been resolved in firmware one point four zero. It's going to take me a little bit more time to test the uh, fingerprint on change of state as well as the uh, static IP assignment. So I'm going to make another video after I test these two outstanding issues.